Today I want to try out if I'm able to whittle such a spoon with a Swiss army knife, but with a foldable handle. So stay tuned if this sounds interesting for you. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife project video. Recently I saw a YouTube video from Sean Hellman and he made an interview with Jane Mickleborough. Jane Mickleborough is I guess a British spoon carving expert and she likes to carve foldable spoons. She also wrote a book about this topic. I saw this video just one or two minutes but from there I got the idea to try to make my own version of a foldable spoon with a Swiss Army knife and hazelwood. The link to the interview with Jane Nickelborough you find in the description box below. So I started to make some simplified models of such a foldable spoon but I can tell you it's not that easy that you find the exact right place for the hinge and it's not that easy that the mechanic works like this, that you can totally fold the spoon. Even after all these simplified models I made, I was not sure if I'm able to craft a spoon which collapses properly. But thanks of these models, I would say I got a good idea how it could work. But I had no more patience to try out more models, that's why I decided to start with the project. To craft this project, I use a modified Victorinox camper. First thing I made is a spoon carving tool. I made this of the big screwdriver of the bottle opener. Then I added plus scales with uh, the slot for the ballpoint pen and Instead of the toothpick, I made a drill bit with a metal head. And this drill bit I use to make a 2 mm hole. The axis is a 2 mm nail and I store it in the windings of the corkscrew. The link for this modification you find in the description box below. So my plan is to whittle a normal spoon with a too long and a too thick handle. Then I determine the middle point. I saw it in two halves and then I can determine where I want to have the axis point for the hinge. After that I can see where I have to adjust the shape that I can collapse the handle part to the convex part. I'm not sure if this works, <laughs> so let's go!
friends. Now I'm done. It's not 100% perfect, but I like it. So if you have other ideas how to make a collapsible spoon, please let me know in the comment sections below. I would say try out this project. It's super fun, but not that easy. And um, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao.